All right, good morning, everyone. Today is the 11th of July, 2020. It is a Saturday, a beautiful Saturday here in Alabama. And always, if you don't get up early and get moving here in Alabama, it gets pretty hot. So it's a nice, warm summer day. It is my day 13 of the Suicide Awareness Challenge. Yesterday, I talked about postvention and I shared some links there on what we can do to open the doors for post-traumatic growth. Today, I wanna to talk about prevents. So prevents uh, is the president's roadmap to empower veterans and end a national tragedy of suicide. Uh, Dr. Barbara Van Dalen uh, was selected to uh, lead this task force. And it's pretty exciting because as those of us that are military know that a task force is you take some of the best uh, equipment and uh, weapon systems that you have and you combine them together so that you can really, um, really improve your lethality and to improve um, your effectiveness against the enemy. So on this enemy of suicide, this is pretty, uh, this is a great thing. It's probably one of the, probably one of the biggest uh, uh, efforts to get after a public health concern. Uh, maybe it would rival the President's Council of Physical Fitness to help get after uh, physical fitness um, for our Americans. But this is pretty great. Um, and it's been in the works for a few years. And the podcast that I've been listening to with, uh, with Larry France and the, the Military Times Suicide Awareness, um, getting after that, that was their number one podcast episode. So I shared that a little bit earlier on Facebook. Uh, so this is a great program. I expect that you're going to see a lot more about it here in the next uh, probably weeks to months. Um, and like I said, it's a great task force. Uh, it's got Veterans Affairs in there, Human Health and Services. Uh, and at the opening of the roadmap that was done a few weeks ago, Secretary of Veteran Affairs uh, Wilkie had some really great comments that said that each one of us, uh, we can work to change the culture uh, regarding mental health. And that's one of the main things I think that if we can break down the stigma of people seeking mental health or treating mental, meta, mental health, just like we treat our physical fitness and our regular prevention of uh, diseases, <clears throat> we can help get after some of these things a little bit earlier. So we're way to the left and we can start getting help and, and it starts to become a normal thing for everybody to uh, get this regular maintenance from not only mental health, but helping you to get ahead of some of the, the risk factors before they become a crisis. So that's what all of these programs are aiming towards so that we can reduce, uh, you know, even just one suicide is, uh, is probably worth it because it has such a huge ripple effect for everybody. So just a reminder that each of us can continue to learn what are the, what are the risk factors uh, amongst our friends, our neighbors, our coworkers, and be just a little bit kinder to everybody. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things that we can do right now. So let's not wait for the government to get through this. Let's start seeing what we can do within our own neighbors, within our own neighborhoods, within our own coworkers, with our own classmates. Uh, and uh, and everywhere like that. So becoming aware of what the risk factors are, which we are in some troubled times right now and probably uh, all of us have uh, the risk factors. And then paying attention to the warning signs and just remembering that it, there is no shame in seeking uh, help. In fact, there's a lot of courage out there and for, and for everybody out there, just to remember there is a lot of help out there and probably more importantly, is there is a lot of hope that can help you get through some of these rough and troubling times. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and try to do our push-ups again, uh, see how many days we can keep doing these push-ups. So here we go.
All right, everybody, let's get out there. Let's check out all these programs and see how you can support them. And uh, thanks and a big shout out to all of you that are doing things every single day to get after this. It will make a difference. You may not ever uh, receive the, uh, you know, the awareness or the recognition that, uh, but even just all the little things that you can do do make a difference definitely along the along the whole chain here so let's get after these let's do one more to help encourage those that maybe you're on the fence and say oh, I'm not sure if I need to get some help or not just go get some help just go check it out especially way to the left so if you're having financial issues uh, personal issues health issues, uh, relationship issues, all those, si all those type of things. Get some help before they become a crisis. So let's do that one more. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Remember to wash your hands often. Try not to touch your face or don't touch your face. Use hand sanitizer when you can't wash your hands. And if you're going out in public and you cannot social distance, please use a mask. Let's get after these suicides. Let's get after them now. Have a great weekend, everybody. Two, two.